Welcome to today's video. I will show you how to generate an unlimited number of free AI images from Leonard AI, which is a superior and free version of Midjourney. I will also show you how to sell and earn passive income from various social media and other platforms. It should be extremely enjoyable and learning experience for you. So let's get started with the video. Step one is to gain access to Leonard AI. For this type, Leonard AI in Google Chrome and you will see it here. This is where this website will open. Either you go directly to app activation, or you confirm that you are on the whitelist. If not, please provide your name and email address and submit it. So once you receive the mail, you will be required to complete out and submit a priority access form from Leonardo AI. And after submitting it via the launch app, you will have access to your account. This is the interface in which you will be required to operate and create your images. Let us first examine how to create or generate an image from previously generated images. Therefore, if you like any of these images, simply click on that image. Now let's look at a few items you might obtain here. You can select the copy prompt, image to image or remix options that will open up. Then you can click on download to download that image. This will be a high quality picture already, same as mid journey. If you select the image to image option, a distinct version of this image will be generated for you. Alternately, you may simply click on the copy prompt option to generate the same image. Okay, I will now proceed to AI image generation from the left-hand side of the AI tool, after which I will provide the prompt. Okay, I'll now keep the negative prompt double on and return to Leonardo AI, where I'll simply copy the negative prompt again. Control C, then back to image generation again. This is my negative prompt, and I should now provide the opposite instructions. On the left-hand side, you can select the desired number of images that you want to create. Suppose I require four images. Thus, I will choose four. According to the number of your images, your token will be used. Here, there is nothing you must do. All you must do is verify the dimensions that you want. 1024 by 1024 works well for me and is of the highest quality of image generated. I will choose this option. I'll then click on the Generate button after adjusting the settings that I want. They have provided me with four variants of the same image. If I like any of them, let's assume I like this one. Then, there are a few additional tasks I can do here as seen in this pop-up window. There is the Upgrade Upscaling icon available here. If you choose the first option, this will be an upgrade. You can obtain a version that is smoother. If I scale it up to a smoother variant, the result is a smoother appearance. It appears much more beautiful. And here you can observe the difference. If you go here, you'll find the original image, and here you'll find the HD version, smoother upscale after upscaling. I have this image, and I may also choose this crisp upscaling option. Therefore, once you are happy with the picture, you can simply select this download option to save the image to your computer. Similarly, you can generate any image from a Leonardo AI image. Now there are a variety of design style available here, the finest which are Leonardo Diffusion and Dream Shaper V7. Dream Shaper V7 facilitates the creation of these refined images. You can ideally go for Leonardo Diffusion. There are additional designs such as the Luna style of images. You can generate a different form of image from this style if you select Generate with this model and navigate to this style. Therefore, if I navigate to this Generate with this model, I will receive these prompts. And as you can see in the drop-down menu, we can select other models here as well, such as Dream Shaper V7 and Leonardo Diffusion prior versions. And from this point forward, you can either select the Leonardo style design or none. Similarly, if you generate, you can generate the images. Let's see they are generated in the Luna style. In Luna style, and as I've given the same prompt here in Leonard style, they've generated this. I believe this is significantly more remarkable and visually distinct, so you can elevate it as I have previously showed you. Now let's proceed to the section where I will show you how to use text to image option. If you do not want to use any of these images or designs and want to create something completely original, then what will you do? To create the output like this, navigate to the AI image generation option and delete the preceding text. Okay, currently there are two options. Either you already have a prompt that you wish to evaluate here, or you wish to generate one. If you have a prompt, please type it here for me. I have several prompts, so I will use this one. I will copy and paste my prompt here, and I also have a negative prompt. Now, if you want to know how I write this prompt, please let me know in the comments section. I can create a distinct video on the prompt's specifics. One thing I should mention here is that the type of prompt writing will determine the type of results you can anticipate from such Leonardo AI. 
It is important to understand the various aspects and words of the prompts that you will use. It must be as specific and feasible. And if you want a simplified version of AI generation, be sure to view my other videos on Leonardo AI, which will be shown in the description window below, as well as the info button in the upper right corner. Do not lose out because this has helped several online creators already and has significantly simplified this process for them. For the time being, let's generate these with Leonard Diffusion style. I want a waist-high portrait of an exotic, beautiful Caucasian woman wearing trendy clothing at a beach, perfect detailed face, detailed symmetric hazel eyes with circular iris, realistic, stunning realistic photograph, and other elements. Leonardo AI has created these incredible images for me when I have written the prompts. You can also use the negative prompt section to write anything you don't want. I can simply and write, generate and download whatever images I desire. What would you do if you had no prompt? Let's say I'm in need of four images without a prompt. I have only a general concept of what I want to create for ladies in 1980s traditional outfits. This is how I would do it. I intend to generate a prompt for this. Once these prompts have been generated, you can use the prompt you deem most appropriate, and then select Generate to generate images based on that prompt. Wow! They've provided some incredible images like these. If I want to use a second, third, or fourth prompt, I'll go to Prompt Generation and select one of these images. Allow me to show where you can sell these images. The first alternative is Etsy. Now, in Etsy, there are a few items that are extremely easy to sell. If you verified here, then create a store for yourself. There will be a number of orders from this site, and you could make approximately $5,000 per month. If you're a new visitor to my channel, please like and subscribe for more content on the AI revolution and how to can build your business using AI automation. See you in the next video.